Do you like pie? Yes, you do. You all like raspberry pies, you dirty little pie eaters. Right, we have my pie and we have it with this screen and you might have recognized this from my earlier videos. This is that crazy aftermarket screen and uh, I've done a little bit of diggling on it. Yeah, there we go, I'll leave it aside. I don't want to break that. That's gonna require quite a lot of work to get going as it turns out and I'll tell you the reason why. The way this screen works is using general purpose IO, GPIO. I was gonna write this down, GPIO, no paper. In fact, here's a bit of paper I just tore off. GPIO, general purpose input output. And these are basically ports that you can turn on and off. And if you've got a basic microcontroller type board here that this is just full of GPIOs, you can basically say this pin is a five volt output or this pin is a zero, you know, an input or this um, <laughs> pin is a zero volts output, if that makes any sense at all. Don't worry about the details of that. So yeah, these are sort of tri-state normally, tri-state GPIO lines. And how the Raspberry Pi actually runs this screen, I believe this screen, it's got this SCL on there and SDA. So these are actually a SPI interface, SPI, um, which I don't think this actually is using. I think the Raspberry Pi is emulating a SPI interface to talk to this screen. And that got me thinking, that's really weird. When you've got a device like a Raspberry Pi that has loads of jewels, technically, um, why isn't it outputting HDMI or VGA? Because someone told me you can get VGA from these pins. I'm quite confident, Andrew, that there's VGA on these pins because I was going, great, that's really great because I've got a load of monitors and I want to turn them into retro arcade type machines. Um, and that'll be just a godsend. However, on my research, the actual VGA adapter shields that come for this to give on here to give you that VGA output um, is a load of bollocks apparently because they all work on the same way. They basically use a, a some sort of spy to VGA frame buffer adapter. So not only do you not actually have a real VGA, you actually have to have a kernel uh, driver to actually drive the um, G, you know the frame buffer to spy type interface. Uh, frame buffer to spy. Okay, so Linux is going to talk to this. It's seeing it as a kind of a screen, the frame buffer, and then that's outputting it to the bits and ones and noughts and ones and noughts and ones to drive the screen. So that's all really slow. And not only is it slow, this takes time, time and memory. So if you're playing, a, you know, imagine you're trying to do an, a, re a retro emulated arcade, you're just using loads of extra CPU cycles that you really need um, for driving the screen. So that was crap, that's total pants. So that really annoyed me. So I was like, what the heck am I gonna do? Because I've got a load of monitors that only have VGA and this is the answer. And it cost me two pounds on eBay and I don't know where it came from. I was going to say from China, but it, it obviously originated in China, but it came really damn quick, like a warehouse in the UK, which is supoib. And I've got one of these before, so um, I was quite com quite confident, quite confident they're going to work. And it's really neat. So you really, you just have this adapter, which is HDMI, and you plug it square in there, VGA output. It's, it's really that simple. And because it's powered by the HDMI on the board, it's totally invisible to the Pi. The Pi doesn't even care. It doesn't even know it's got VGA output. It just thinks it's got a monitor connected. And what's really interesting, you've got this, which is the sound. Because if you remember, HDMI itself actually has sound. So they actually provide you this little extra wire to go into sort of the speaker input on your monitor if your monitor supports that. Although, because you have the Pi, you could actually choose to take the sound straight from the device itself and not worry about what comes in on the HDMI. So that's quite cute. So if you do have certain and devices where you know it would be nice to go to VGA from HDMI, probably for uh, a laptop really, because you always need those when you're doing presentations. These have got really quite slim now, and they don't require loads of um, external power. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of tempted. I feel that uh, can I get in here? So I just I got distracted because I wanted to see if I could get into here, but no, there's no seams. It's all over molded. Yeah, very clever. Look, very nicely over molded to prevent me from getting in there. So yeah, if you do need one of these, have a look on eBay. Check it out. If you've got a Raspberry Pi that needs VGA output, there's a solution for you. Please comment down below. Click like or subscribe if you're that way inclined. And as ever, thank you for watching.